Hi, Miss Jones. Hi, Miss Clater. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Well, let me reintroduce myself to you. I know you already know who I am, but I'm mm -hmm. Kathy Clater. I'm an occupational therapy assistant student at Nashville State, and I completed your uh, worksite evaluation on Thursday. Yes. Great. So, on our second session, we are just going to go over some recommendations based on that evaluation, and those are summarized in your handout. So hopefully you have that with you. I do. I have it right here. Great. And we're also going to go over an exercise for your shoulders just to kind of break up some of that. Okay. okay. That sounds great. All right. Great. Now, just like last time, I want to make sure that I have your phone number correct and that you have mine in case we get disconnected or have some technical problems. Right. Okay. So I'm going to repeat to you what I have written down for you. Okay. Okay. I have your number as 615-962-5844. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. You may already have. Um, yeah, I may have misplaced your phone number. Can you tell me one more time? Yeah. yeah. My number is 615. Okay. 417. Okay. 4168. 4168. Thank you. I got it. And just like last time, I want to get your verbal consent to perform this session, and that's just a formality. Okay. So do mm -hmm. I have your permission to perform this session? Yes. Do I have your permission to record this session and to share it with my supervisor or other healthcare professionals as necessary? Sure. Great. Now, if at any point you feel uncomfortable or you want to stop the session, just let me know and we can make arrangements to finish it in person. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Great. Did you understand all of that? Do you have any questions? Um, no, no questions. I'm no? good. Well, then let's get started. So the first thing that I want to say is I want to talk about the positives of your workspace. Um, I think your computer area is set up pretty well. Your monitor is at eye level, which is great. Your keyboard and your mouse are next to each other and all of your tools are pretty close by. So I think that your desk setup overall is pretty functional. It looks like it's functional for you. Would you say that's true? Oh yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I agree. I also think your lighting is pretty good. Um, I like that your floor lamp has three different options so you can adjust how bright you have it. Right. Um, it's nice that you have your, um, your overhead lighting as backup in case you need it. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So, um, I know from last session, you said some of the concerns that you had were pain in your neck and shoulders, mm -hmm. distractions in your work environment, and um, the sun glare on your computer screen. Would you say that's accurate? Yes, that's probably about it. Yes. Okay. Well, I have some solutions for you. Um, and this is where I want you to follow along on your handout because we're going to go mm -hmm. line by line through it. Okay. Right. Okay. So the first thing that I want to talk about is your seating. Mm -hmm. I, I know you use, um, it looks like a recliner of some kind, and it's probably pretty comfortable if you're watching TV or something, but yeah. I highly recommend if you're going to be seated for long periods of time at your computer that you, if you can, invest in some kind of ergonomic work chair, some kind of office chair that's adjustable. Mm -hmm. And the features that you really want to make sure are adjustable are the seat height and depth, the backrest, and the arm. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to adjust it so that you can sit with your hips, your knees, and your ankles at 90 degree angles while your back is supported by the chair. Mm. The benefit of that is it keeps your posture aligned and it reduces some of the musculoskeletal discomfort and pain that you've been experiencing when you look at your computer for a long time. Right. Okay, great. Yeah, so you can find those at an office store, Target, Ikea, wherever, really any kind of furniture store. And sometimes you can find them at yard sales. So I wouldn't discount that possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say if that is completely out of your budget right now, because I know you're a student, the next best option would be grab a dining chair from downstairs or from the Goodwill or something and put some tennis balls on the bottom and use that as your work chair until you can afford to buy a nicer one. And mm -hmm. that will still give you a little bit better lumbar support than the chair that you're sitting in right now. Yeah, that sounds good. I could do that. Great. Okay, well, the second thing is, I know you said you had some distractions with your cats in your, yeah. 
while you were studying. I also know that your cats. Yes, there they are fighting. (laughs) I also know that they're very important to you. So take this recommendation with a grain of salt. I am not asking you to put them away for long periods of time, but as the handout said, I suggest that you choose your toughest assignment or if you have a test coming up, choose something that you want to focus on for one hour and just put them away for an hour. Put them in a different room, set them up with a new toy, make sure that they're okay, and then give yourself 60 minutes of uninterrupted time to get your work done. And when you finish that, bring them back in the room for a little bit. Give yourself a reward and that will help you set a goal for yourself and then you, it's like an internal reward system. Yeah, I 100% agree with that one. That's a great suggestion. Yeah. So hopefully that will work for you. And then after that, it's up to you. If you want to keep them in the room for a while or if you want to put them back up, that's up to you. I just want to make sure you get at least one hour a day of uninterrupted time for studying. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Okay. So the last thing is the sun glare, which I can actually see um, the sun coming in your window right now. Yes, and that's what the blinds partially closed. Mm -hmm. And I can see that that would definitely be a problem. I know when we talked, you also said it's kind of important for you to have your blinds and your curtains open, if you can, just to get some sunlight. And I agree. I think that's really healthy. Um, Mm -hmm. I need to have some, some vitamin D, some sun in your space. What I would suggest is you can purchase on Amazon, um, a, protective sun glare filter for your computer screen. They run about 30 to $40, so it's a little bit of an investment, but I think it might be worth it for you. The way they work is they're they're little plastic screens and they fit into the grooves on your monitor. They make them for most major computer brands and um, it just reduces the amount of refraction that comes off of the glass. So that will help you view your computer for long periods of time without doing the sort of like funny that you had to do. It'll help your posture. It'll help the strain on your muscles and it'll also help your eye strain a little bit. So. Okay. Great. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, for sure. I like the layer screen. If you feel like, again, because I know you're a student, so I want to give you a low budget alternative. Anytime I ask you to spend money, if Mm -hmm. you feel like that's not going to work for you, um, you could also move your desk to the opposite wall to the mm-hmm. right of the window, like right under that poster right there. Right behind me, yeah. Yeah, and that, that would be a more environmental switch, but um, that way the sun would illuminate your keyboard, but it wouldn't glare onto your screen. So if you, you want right. to save your money, that might be an alternative for you as well. That's a good idea as well. Thank you. Yeah, so that concludes the recommendations portion. Do you have any questions for me before I show you your stretch? Mm, No, I don't think so. I like all the three that you mentioned so far. Good. I hope that they're helpful for you and that they'll um, make your study time a little more functional. Now, Mm -hmm. the next thing that I want to do is show you your stretch. So I'm actually going to move my device in just a minute. But first, I want to tell you it's a standing shoulder stretch. So it's very simple. I would say you could perform it every hour or so when you get up to go get a snack in the kitchen. Um, Mm -hmm. And the main precautions that you want to be aware of with this is just don't overstretch yourself because you will feel feel a little bit of a pull, um, especially if your shoulders are a little bit tight. And also you're going to be standing up, so make sure that there's nothing in your way that you could trip over. Okay, sounds good. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you, and then I'm going to have you stand up and do it for me just to make sure that you know how to do it. And I'll give you a little bit of feedback when you're done. Okay? Okay, I'm ready. So I'll show you how it works. Confirm for me, Ms. Jones, that you can see me. Yes, I can see your torso and everything. Okay, good. So the way you do the standing shoulder stretch is you stand with your feet shoulder width apart Mm -hmm. and relax your shoulders. Mm -hmm. You can start with either arm. I'm going to start with my right arm. You take your right arm and you reach it over about as Mm -hmm. far as you can. You're going to feel a little bit of a stretch, but make sure it's still comfortable for you. You take Mm -hmm. your left hand and you hold your arm below your elbow. Okay. Pull it till you feel a little bit of a pull. And you take a deep breath. And hold for 10 to 30 seconds. 
minutes. I would say hold for 10 is fine. Okay, sounds good. Show you that. And then you just repeat on the opposite side. So you take your left arm, hold it over, hold with your right hand. Deep breath in, hold for 10. Okay. You can repeat that two or three times on each side. Right. Now, what I'm going to have you do is, do you have any questions about that? Mm -mm. That's a pretty easy one. Okay. Can you show me? Yeah, I think so. Can you see me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with my right arm, too. All right, so I grab below my elbow, take a deep breath in, and hold for 10 seconds. Okay, and then I switch to the opposite arm. Below my elbow, deep breath in, and hold. All right, I know I went through those quick, but I think I got the idea. Yep, I think you did great. Do you, yeah. did you find that that helped at all? Yeah, I can feel it loosening my shoulder muscles in the back. It feels yeah. good. I felt the same when I did it. Mm -hmm. um, have any questions for me? Um, I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, Ms. Jones, that is the end of our session. Um, I had a pleasure getting to do this with you. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for inviting me into your home and giving me this opportunity. Um, do you have any questions? If you do, please email me. You're welcome to email me anytime. Questions okay. are fine. Just let me know. All right. Thank you very much. I think this was so helpful. All right. Thank you, Ms. Jones. I'll be contacting you. Bye-bye.